Well, I don't know. I mean, I think it's different for everybody. You know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, we have a lot of work still to be done in terms of uh, uh, what things we need to do with the team in, in summer and uh, guys developing in summer league and just the draft and everything. I mean, it, it's, it never stops, but, um, you know, it's really about, to me, it's about the players right now and um, the direction of the organization and the, and the positive things you take away. And then we, you know, you have to build you on your positives and, and try to, you know, get better on some of the things that we know we areas we need to improve in. So it never stops. Um, but I think we have, you know, we have, uh, you know, a clearer path of the direction that we need to go, and that that's positive. Hey ben, take, I'm going to take you back to like the low point of the season, <clears throat> you know what I mean? probably before it was after the New Orleans loss, right? And then all of a sudden you went on that big run. What, what was the key to that? Was, you know, was there was there a moment where the season really could have gone either way? Could have literally missed the playoffs. You know, not. I mean, th things get so blown out of proportion. It's just uh, you, you can't stop the wave of the negativity at times. But I think the guys did a good job of of sticking together, understanding that, you know, uh, when, when we had lost three in a row, we lost, you know, at Indiana and at Oklahoma City, two teams that are they're still playing right now. They're not bad. Um, and then we had the third game in a row against New Orleans, and we played decent the first half. We had a lead, and then we, we struggled in the second half. But uh, but there's a handful of games that, you know, in terms of teams that, you know, we should have won, we could have won, but we didn't. And there's games that, hey, we pulled something out, we played well in the fourth quarter or whatever. But it was never about – us splintering. It was about us trying to figure out how we could use everybody with so many new players and very, very at all no practice time. So a lot of things were being done um, during the, the games and that makes it a little bit harder trying to manage the personalities and manage the skill level and who fits where and how it's going to fit and then and then with the injuries you have to deal with too. So yeah, I mean there, there's all those things. There's all quick decisions that have to be made on the fly and um, but I, you know, I give the players credit. You know, we we're overloaded in certain positions um, because of the roster. They knew that, so just trying to manage minutes, trying to keep everybody pulling in the same direction is always always a challenge. And I think overall, we we're able to manage that at some of the lower points and uh, take advantage of it uh, in terms of our depth, uh, especially at the end of the season and when the playoffs came around. Give yourself any credit for that? You're giving the players. You know, credit. I mean, it's, it, to me, it's it's a players' league, and, and the players, uh, you know, determine a lot. I, I'm proud of my coaching staff. Um, you know, for, for the work they put in, um, you know, in the, in, the, in the difficult times and the good times, but they stuck together, they did a great job with the younger players, and, uh, you know, I thought the assistants did a fabulous job. Did that hard time that we talked, just spoke about, it, do you think that really kind of helped set up for what came, the adversity made you stronger? Is that? Yeah, I think it always does. All those experiences, you know, like, you know, the playoffs was a great learning curve because each series is different. You know, the Memphis series compared to San Antonio was a totally different style of game. So having those experience and letting our younger players, especially in the nucleus of our team, um, and the younger guys that hadn't been through it, those, those, those are invaluable experience. You can talk about it, how the playoffs are different, but until you go through it and kind of get a feel for it, maybe not even one year, it takes two, three, four years. I mean, look at the history of some of the, the players that have, you know, you got to go through it to understand it. And I think that just speeds the process up and the learning curve, hopefully in terms of the summer development, training camp, what's expected, the expectations. Um, and you have to manage all that stuff, but I think it just helps to speed up the process for the players.